Hi guys, welcome to today's video. In today's video, we are going to be drafting a basic lock. And we're going to be using Helen Joseph Armstrong's pattern drafting book. And guess what? We are going to be using Simli 2D. Simli 2D is a completely free CAD open source pattern drafting software. If you've been watching my videos, I have a complete playlist on Simli 2D. So if it is something you've not heard about, don't worry yourself. I have the playlist directly below this video. So now let's go start our basic block using Simly 2D. Now, my name is Enorita James, and in my channel, I take you by the hand and help you transit from manual pattern drafting to digital pattern drafting. As I said, in today's video, we are going to be drafting a basic body block, and we are going to be using this beautiful pattern drafting book by Helen Armstrong. Before, of course, you draft any pattern in any CAD pattern drafting software, you have to put in your measurements. If you come to page 44 of Helen Armstrong's book, incidentally, this book is a book you must have. If you want to learn pattern drafting online, if you want to learn CAD pattern drafting, the simple way, if you want to understand it, this is a book you must have. This is a book I refer to almost every time. It really explains it and it takes you step by step for every pattern you're going to draft. And this particular pattern is very important because it is from this pattern that you're going to be generating other styles and we're going to be doing it all digitally. So first and foremost, once you've bought the book, you come to page 44. You come to page 44. And then you actually see where they illustrate to you where you're going to get your measurements. The reason I'm coming here is that we are going to input all these measurements on Simly 2D software. But it's good for you to see exactly what you need to measure for us to be able to create our patterns. So if you just move it a little bit, you see that it explains to you how to take these measurements across chest points and back the waist around your waist that is your waist circumference your bust that is your bust circumference your abdomen is three inches below your waist so you take note of all those things you know the reason i wanted to use this explanation instead of using the simile two explanation is because this actually tells you the exact points to take your measurements it is better you take a lot of time doesn't matter whether it is one week, take a lot of time and get your measurements right. And then once you put it on Simly 2D, whatever pattern you want to create, you will not have any kind of problems because you took your measurements right. So go through these measurements. And once you've done that, we'll now get to Simly 2D. This is Simly 2D software. If this is your first time of watching this video and you don't know anything about Simly 2D, I have a complete playlist that I'm going to download, that I'm going to put below this video. Complete Simly 2D playlist where I showed you how to download Simly 2D, how to install it on your computer. I took you through all these pattern making tools. So I'm not going to waste time to do that. Today we are drafting. And this is just part one of this video where I'm taking you through entering your measurement sets. So once you get to Simly 2D, you go to measurements and click on it, and then you click on open Simly Me. And once you open Simly Me, mine is already open. That is why it's not opening again. So let me close one. 
Once you open it, this is what Simply Me looks like. Now, the reason I have this is because I opened my own uh, measurement sets. If you don't have any measurement sets, you just go to File and Create and click on New. And then you can start here, Individual. Click here to centimeters or, or inches, whichever you want. And then it will take you to where you enter your measurements. I'm not going to take you through that here because I also have a video in that playlist where I took you through step by step how to enter your measurement on Simly 2D. Please go ahead and watch that video so that you get all the necessary measurements in. What I want to do now is to actually show you how to get those particular measurements on Helen Armstrong's book. So let me go back to my own measurements. Open individual. I already have my measurements here. I open it. But I noticed that there are some measurements I do not have. For example, let me go back to that Louis Armstrong's book. I have all this uh, waist circumference, high hip circumference, hip circumference. I have all those measurements. But there are some measurements I do not actually have. Uh -huh. Let's see. Let me go down here. I don't have some of these quarter measurements. I don't have it. These quarter measurements, one side of your... You no, know, because when we are drafting, we are going to be drafting just one side of the front and one side of the back half of the front and half of the back. So it's good to have this quarter measurements, just as it is shown there. You're going to need those quarter measurements. You're go also going to need all these diagonal measurements. You know, these ones, I don't have it. So I'm going to show you how to find those kinds of measurements in Simly 2D. Because you're going to need all these values when we are plotting our basic body block. So let's go back to Simly Me. I have my measurements here, as I said. Please watch that video and then follow step by step and put in your measurements. But some of the measurements I do not have, so I need to add those ones. And the way to do that is just to go here to add known. If you click on that red plus, it opens up the measurement database of Simly 2D. So all I have to do is to scroll and be looking for the particular measurements I need. I already know where it is, so I can just tell you so that when you're looking for it, you will not spend your whole day looking for it. Most of it can be found under this circumference and arc. Circumference and arc, that is G circumference and arc, you'll find most of those uh, measurements. And with this measurement uh, database, all you need to do is just click on something and it will show you the pictures. You can see here, you have here G03. If you come to G03 here, this G03, this particular one, you know that it is across the high. It even tells you what it is. Circumference at high bust, following the shortest distance between the handfuls across chest, high, under, and pit. So this actually explains how you can get that measurement in simply 2D. But I said, the reason I wanted to go to, to look at Armstrong zone before you put your measurements, it actually tells you where, you know, to measure. How many centimeters below your bust or how many centimeters below your chest and things like that. For where to put your tape and actually measure. So you can get some of those measurements, you know, like these are the half measurements, which I do not have. So I'm going to do all these half measurements and put it there. Most times I might not need to even do it. It will calculate it for me as long as I have these other measurements. It will calculate it for me. So what I will do now 
like I will take virtually all these measurements that I want. I'll just click on it, the ones that I want. And I'm, it's going to enter into, so that's, I don't need that one, let me remove it. Just need this one. So you get the picture. Now to get the other one that is at the across measurements, you come down to, I think, let me see. You come down to, where was it? LM. K balance. Come to this K balance. If you click on this, see those diagonal measurements. So write those things down because sometimes it can be difficult to look for it. There are so many measurements here. So I had to really search to find this. So you come to this K balance, this one. That's where you're going to get all these diagonal measurements. If you click on this, you'll see that. You click on this, you'll see that. So that's it. So just follow the description of how to take those measurements and then you put it in. So but let me just click it so that I can add to my measurement sets because I'm going to need virtually all these measurements. This one. Let's see this one. Um, do I need this one? I don't think. Okay, let me take it. I think I might need it. I don't need that one for now. Mm, not this arm, I don't need it for now. For now, at least. Okay, once you've ticked what you want, you just go to OK. And if you, if I come down, everything there has been added. It has been added. So all these ones that are zero, 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 I have to measure it. All the other ones, it has calculated it for me. Like this one, it calculated it, calculated this, calculated this, calculate. No, this one is not calculated, so I have to do it. And even here, if you click on it, it still shows you here how to take those measurements. So this is part one of how to draft your basic block using Helen Armstrong's pattern drafting book. So go ahead now, put in all those measurements that I've shown to you so that in part two of this video, we are now going to be using those measurements to do our basic block using Helen Armstrong's pattern drafting book. I hope you enjoyed this video and I want you to actually stay tuned for the part two. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that when I upload such videos, you will be informed. Thank you for watching. Till my next video.